Don't let the name fool you. Cops and Donuts, Clare City Bakery has more than its title suggests. While the sweet breakfast pastries are one of its specialties, the menu boasts much more. 9 and 10's Jenny Bushell takes you, in, takes you there in this week's edition of Inside the Kitchen. Back in 1896, this storefront first opened as the Clare City Bakery. When the ovens were rumored to close for good in 2009, a new sheriff came to town. In May of 2009, we learned that they were going to close it uh, for the 1st of July. So we uh, purchased it the 1st of July, renamed it Cops and Donuts Clare City Bakery. Greg Rhino Rynearson and eight other Clare City police officers rescued the business, promising it would remain a scratch-made bakery like its predecessor. Fast forward to 2014, the bakery has expanded to three storefronts with 40 employees who serve half a million people per year. Think of Grandma's House first and all of the good food that you used to have at Grandma's House. You walk in our front door and you can smell all of it. You can smell the sweets and the baked goods and everything coming from the bakery. You can smell the corned beef and the smoked pork smoking in the diner. Um, it's, it's love and the love is on the rise. Last February, Cops and Donuts brought home $10,000 after winning the Cooking Channel's Donut Showdown. That's when pastry chef Dave Wittenbach and assistant Katie Nice first crafted the driftwood. And from the dough up, this pastry is made to look like real driftwood. First the dough is rolled out and then cut into roughly two inch strips and splintered along the edges. So then from here, we put them in the proof box and we let them raise for about 35 or 40 minutes before we fry. From the fryer, the driftwoods get a little love stuffed into their center. Once we have our cavity all the way through, then we put our pastry bag filled with our special Slowly. driftwood cream. Oh my gosh. Tastes like vacation, the coconut. The chocolate ganache is heated to the perfect consistency, and then we're on to the dunking. So we dip, pick it up, scrape off. Once more coconut is added, there's just one thing left to do. All right. <laughs> My goodness, a lot of flavor in that. On average, the crew at Cops and Donuts makes a daily 300 dozen donuts. Last Labor Day, they broke their record at 841 dozen. And on the diner side, people can't stop talking about the chief of sandwiches. We call it a double up Reuben. Uh, it's made with our own swirl bread that is a swirl rye pumpernickel that's grilled. Uh, there's actually three layers of bread in there. We've got the cheese on it, the sauerkraut, and then the, the big winner that makes it that we're different than everyone else is our corned beef. So since it's already cooked, what we're going to do is we're just going to steam it a little bit. And we're going to cover it. The melty cheese rye goes down into the liquid butter and the sauerkraut is added to the grill. In our sauerkraut, we dress up with a little bit of brown sugar. Off a, little bitterness. a little bit of the acidity goes away and it's got a nice sweet kind of, you know, bite to it. And when it's time for their house made Russian dressing, these guys are anything but shy. Oh no, it's, it's Russians gone wild. This big, this big, half your face. I couldn't even do it. From the crumbly pastries to the decadent breads, all the way to the diner's towering platefuls, Cops and Donuts is certain of one thing. No, it's working. We know that it's working. We're working on our sixth year. We have families bringing their families back all the time. And we're, you're just not coming to a donut shop when you're coming here. You're, you're coming to an event. Well, we came, we fried dough, we grilled the beef, and now it's time to dig in. We're finishing up our visit to Cops and Donuts with a double up Reuben sandwich and the Driftwood Donut. Cops and Donuts is located in downtown Clare, Michigan. They're open Sunday through Thursday, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 6 to 10. Well, I had a great time with you having a bite this week. I'll see you next week. I'm Jenny Bouchelle, 9 and 10 News.